Hello, world. Hello, people. And welcome to what is tentatively called Gunlock. Hey! Are, are, are you not going to introduce yourself? Uh, I figured you'd do the thing where you explain why it's called Gunlock. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> well, we, we came up with this, with this name, you know, for our podcast called uh, Gunlock, and uh, that's what happened. There we go. Mm, that was a pretty terrible explanation, I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, I'm sad now. Mm, it's pretty bad. Um, well, I'm, I feel depressed. I, I'm Brian, last name Gano, which is the uh, the gun of Gunlock. Yeah, 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 yeah. And? And I, I, I am Adam Locke, but not yeah, it's, it's actually Luak, but we're just but, we're working around the name. He just doesn't know how to spell my last name right. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's actually Luak. He's just confused by uh, it. You know what, Brian? I'm gonna hurt you. When I see you, man, I'm going to... I don't have to be scared of somebody named Luak, all right? I'm going to put my fist in your face, and then I'm going to have to ask you to stand in front of it, like, and walk towards it, you know? It's like, like there's the fist, walk towards it. The whole deal. Like that one movie where that happened. Oh, my God. What movie was that? I don't know, but I remember it happening on the (sighs) TV screen one day. Come on, man. It's not our responsibility to know the name of every movie that comes out in the last 80 years. Well, you gotta know, man. We're in video productions. Come on, man. Uh, I'm gonna say uh, Full Metal Jacket. Uh, no. Whoa, well, wait, 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 wait. The choking with the choking. Yeah, the choking. Okay, okay, but not the punching. Same damn thing. I mean, it's all about uh, hands. It's, it's all hands, man. It's a series of hands. Okay, okay. It's a series of hands. You know what, Brian? Hmm. That's for babies. It's really not. Yes, it is. It's for babies. Everything's for babies. <sighs> that commercial is just worse. <laughs> that that actress just she. I know she's like four, but she just. No, she. Well, I'm pretty sure that commercial's like really old now. So she's got to be like at least eight now. Well, she's bad at everything that she does. Yeah, she she doesn't appreciate the <laughs> things in life. For babies. Yeah. Why would why, of all things why wouldn't Cheerios be for babies? Well, I mean, whenever I was a kid, I was fed Cheerios. I mean, I'm pretty sure you were. Yeah, like, because they're for babies. Yeah, but then, you know, adults start, you know, eating them, and now they're not for babies, and I don't know. I don't know. Still, though, I think, I think if that little girl has a problem where she thinks everything is for babies, Cheerios aren't going to be the thing to bring her out of that delusion. Yeah. I mean, Raisin Bran, that's very, very adult cereal. Yeah, that that's your adult cereal. Uh, now, if I were to eat cereal, man, honey Apple bunches Jacks. of oats. No, 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 no. Apple Jacks all the way. Apple Jacks are pretty legitimate. Yeah, they are delicious. Mmm. Mmm. They don't taste like apples, though. No, they don't. They just taste like a crap load of cinnamon. Mm-hmm. And where do the jacks come in? I mean, I don't understand what. They're not even shaped like jacks. They're just no. shaped like twenty circles of jacks. They're just like really fat inner tubes. Mm-hmm. We're eating inner tubes now. Fat cinnamon inner tubes. That's what they should write on the tin. Oh my god. I mean, I'd buy that if I went down the store. Yeah, I'd, I'd eat cinnamon, cinnamon inner, tubes. inner tubes. I'll be like, that sounds like the second best food I've ever had. Well, well, it's got to be descriptive too. It's got to be fat inflative cinnamon tubes. I don't know. Red and green. Let's say inflated. That could be false advertising. Oh yeah. Because I mean, red and green inner tubes that taste like cinnamon. Maybe they inflate slightly, but... Yeah. But, I mean, if they inflate anything, it would be milk. Yeah. And inflatable milk doesn't really sound like the most appetizing of things. No. Oh, um, Adam, actually. There's good news. What? Uh, there's a call coming in for you. Say what? There's a there's a call coming in for you. There better not be a call coming in for me. There That's is. Right, Brian. Yeah, it's... Have fun. No, Brian. Have Brian. fun. Don't. No, no, I'm, I'm, no. Stop recording. This is Chinese restaurant. Oh, you, so you sell Chinese food. Uh-huh. I assume that Big Mac is not included. No, no. Yeah. Do you know which restaurant is to sell Big Mac? No, oh, I don't know. Really? Oh, she hung up on you, Brian. You were supposed to talk, Adam. It was <laughs> to be your... 
I, I don't I don't do prank calls, man. I'm 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 flipping twenty years old. I don't do prank calls anymore. Well then what's the purpose of having a podcast if you can't do prank calls on it? <sighs> All the best radio shows do. What? No we no what? <sighs> yeah. Friggin' uh what's that guy? The Andy and Andy. Andy, Andy and, and Andy? No, the other one. What's the other one? There's Andy and there's somebody else. I don't know. I don't listen to radio people who He's like well, on like satellite radio is Popular in New York. Uh, are you talking like, like Howard Stern? Or was doing, they're trying to be offensive and like calling people up, being like, "Ah, yuck, yuck, yuck." Are you are you talking about like Howard Stern or something? It, yeah, but, I mean that's one, but it was the other the other one. They're, they're like Howard Stern except it's two guys. Amy, Amy and Anthony, maybe is that it? I don't know. I, I wouldn't know what you're talking about. I, I I think it's Opie and Anthony, maybe. I don't know. It does sound familiar though. I think it's Opie and Anthony. Maybe. They're always doing crank yanking. Yeah. I can call people as long as they're also peasants. Wait, what? You can you can call other peasants without Skype premium. Peasants? Yeah, peasants. Peasants. Have you ever heard the word peasant? Yes, yes, yes. I have. Just not used yep. in Burn and aging the countryside. Burn and aging the peasants. Burn and aging all the people in the thatch roof Canada. Rush, rush. Thatch roof Canada. Is that rush? Does that no. sound like rush? No. No. God. Don't even know what Homestar Runner is. Oh, oh, come on, man! I know what Homestar Runner is. It's just been forever since I've been on flipping HomestarRunner dot com. Yeah, you should recognize Trogdor. No, it's been longer than that, man. Longer. Trogdor, like, that's, that's like email 40 or something. They're on like 280 now. I, I never watched the emails. I just watched just regular, you know, Homestar Runner. Oh, like the tunes. Yeah. Should have watched the emails, man. They're the best part. See? Now, now you don't, you know, now you're not angry at me now. Now yeah. we're friends. <clears throat> I am the sloth demon. I can extract you to all over Panal. That's my impression of the sloth demon, which he pronounces wrong from Just Cause 2. Oh. It's supposed to be sloth. Like oh. sloth demon. The demon of sloth. Not maybe maybe sloth. he likes, you know, being like a sloth. You know how sloths are really slow? Maybe, you know. Yeah, that's fine, but then he should be like the sloth demon, and that's all right. Not the sloth demon. And what is what is sloth demon? It's said predictably or not, have anything to do with delivering machine guns to Rico Rodriguez? Well, maybe he's like slow at it. Maybe that's how he got his nickname. Man, you're so oh yeah, maybe he's this. just very very bad at his job. Yeah. See, I'm oblivious about things. Do 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 do. Do all right, you need to bring up a topic. Bring up, bring up a topic of conversation. Okay, 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 okay. Thinking of topics. Thinking of topics. All right, hang on a second. Let me think. Let me think of a thinking about of thinking topic. Uh, I gotta get my thinking sound effects here. Um. Wait, why do I have to do it? So guys, I've been talking about tons of things. I talked about Just Calls 2, I talked about Sloth Demons, I've called a Chinese restaurant. Yeah. About seeing things. We've 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 talked about that. I've seen things, I've seen hey, them hey, with my hey, eyes. Hey, we're not copyrighted, we can't sing that song. Oh, I'm copyrighted as all get out. Hey, you wanna um you wanna talk to Vault Tech? Who's Vault Tech? You know. Brian. I don't know, let me look at the Vault Tech phone number. Who, who who's God darn it, Brian. Who who's Vault Tech? Is that like Voltron's you, you cousin? Really out? Vault Tech? No, is that Vol is that Voltron's cousin? <laughs> Get with the program. Man, I'm way past the program. Screw the program. See look at that. He don't even like you. Fuck the system. He he just like hung up on you too. Look at that call failed. What's that triple eight number? Why are you calling a triple eight number? Why don't you tell me what I can and can't do? 
Don't be calling the triple eight number. I got crap load of them calling me. Hmm. I can't, um... Um... It's like, it's, it, it's in letters, not numbers, you know? So I can't, like, I, I don't know how to translate those numbers into letters. Like, it's a, the number is 1-888-4-Vault-Tech, but I don't know... All right, the... one triple eight. Okay, I, I am looking at a phone right now, okay. Four, all do, right, what's V? How, how do you spell Voltec? Just V. Okay, eight... Uh, A. Uh, two. U. Eight. L. Five. Uh huh. T. Uh, eight. Hang on, mom. Um, T. Eight. E. Three. Uh, C. Uh, two. All right, here we go. Ah, well. I think you just called that number and it failed again. What the hell, Vault Tech? Alright, my mom's yelling at me. Well, what do you want? Ah, I'm gonna pause for you here. Okay. You stopped recording? Yeah, because you, you were talking to your mom. Now we're Why recording. Why would you ever stop recording? That was good material, that was funny. Ah, I'm sorry. You want to do it again? or? Ah. Uh... You just, uh, you just, you've, you've ruined the act. You know what? You and your, you know, over-pronunciating things, you, you, uh, 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 The act has been ruined, Job. You know what? Chicken butt. That's what. I find that to be shallow and pedantic. Well, everything's shallow and pedantic in your eyes. On the wings of the wind. Wait, I didn't know the wind has wings. Well, there's a lot of things that you don't know, Locke. Well, gun, I tell you what. Uh, uh, let me let me add in a sound effect. Okay, there we go. What was that, a shotgun? Yeah, 12 gauge. How'd you do that? Um, Every time we say our name, I'm going to put that sound effect in. Oh, okay. Is it like, is it, or is it you just like doing an actual 12 gauge into the microphone, or is it some sound effect software you downloaded? No, that was an actual 12 gauge into the microphone. You just, what, you're just sitting at your desk with a 12 gauge shotgun? I'm sitting at my desk with a 12 gauge shotgun at my feet, yes. What? I, I, you, just, you just sit with a 12 gauge shotgun all day? No, I don't sit here all day. I go do things around the house, too. Well, when you're doing things around the house, do you bring your 12 gauge shotgun with you? No, I just leave it in my room. Well, why would why would the crap take it around with me? This is insane that, that you sit there at your computer desk with a 12 gauge shotgun. Well, it's at my feet, right next to my bed, so I, I prefer to be ready in case something were to happen, like a break in. Well, when you do the chick chick thing, isn't that like chambering around? Uh, it's empty. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I, I have like the buckshot right here at the top of my desk, which is like right at my my bed, so in case something were to happen, you know load cock and get ready to go. I think it would be a more realistic sound effect if you actually loaded it at him. No. no. You said gun lock? It's, no, you should actually <laughs> just, uh, the full sound effect of you loading, pulling the thing back, and then firing every time. No, that that would be too long. We'd have to actually pause for like five seconds. Gun lock! Five seconds later. And then it'd be like <laughs> Boom! <laughs> no, I'd have to go to the shooting range to do that. Oh, so to go to a you have to go to a shooting range to be allowed to fire it, but you can just sit there yeah. with it at your feet in case like yeah. a doll breaks into your house. No, in case someone were to break into the house, I'd be ready to go. That or you know, I'm just getting ready for the zombie apocalypse. I tell you what, man. Oh, okay. Uh, well, it's good to be at all times, I guess. Yeah. I'm uh, just saying. Died I, I was trying to raid an oil rig. Oh. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, man. I I got like a sniper in the other room. My dad has like two other 12 gauge shotguns under his bed. I got my shotgun. I I got crap load of stuff in here, man. I got a 45 under my pillow. We used to have an M1 Garand, but it's in West nice. Virginia. We oh. still own it, but it's just in West Virginia. But that thing would be fun to shoot, except for the part whenever it jams. Badass! It goes ting, when you reload it. I love that noise. 
Yeah, that's a good sniper. That, that's whenever they started making, um, like, single bullet shot rifles. Oh, like a battle rifle than a yeah, sniper. Yeah, I mean, they, they did use them as, like, long-range weapons. Yeah, I, mean, I don't really know how accurate it was, but I guess for World War II, it's good enough. Yeah. See? See? We're holding true to our name. It unlock, and we're discussing hot tips about firearms and Oh, firearms. yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. I think that uh, the name of our first album compilation, which will be sold on iTunes for nine ninety nine. Oh. Um, yeah, the greatest hits edition. It's it'll be out this week. Um, I think it should be called Gunlock, Lock, Stock, and Barrel. <laughs> we 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 need two guys whose last names were Stock and Barrel. We we can find them. Let's we'll just walk around on the street and be like, "What's your last name?" And then <laughs> just wait to get what we're looking for. Yeah, or at least a name that's like spelled Barrel, but it's pronounced different. It can be like Burrell. You can get a Frenchman yeah. named Burrell. Yeah, just a French guy who can't speak a lick of English. Yeah. It's like the Expanded Universe edition of oh, yeah. Gun. Uh, Lock, stock, and barrel. <laughs> Gun. Oh, sorry. Did I, did I ruin your moment there? Well, I mean, you know, you could have pumped the shotgun. Oh, sorry. Well, here, let me, let me pull it out. Hang on. I mean, if you're sitting there armed and dangerous at all no, times. No, I mean, I, I have, like, a little case that I put it in. That that way it keeps it clean, not with any dust uh, on it, you know. I mean, Sal's picturing you just, like, aiming it at your computer screen <laughs> furiously all day. No, I would never do that, Brian. Now would I? Yeah, that's not my place to know, you know. You might be some kind of crazed gunman. <laughs> no, I'm not a crazed gunman at all. I'm only like 30%, right? Sure. 30%. Just sitting here rubbing my rifle. Tenderly. Tenderly. Very smoothly. With with a nice, nice wooden grain. Oh, you like it when I rub you like that, don't you, baby? I get it on. <laughs> Boom. 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 <laughs> Marvin Gaye. Oh, yeah. Is that Marvin Gaye? I don't know. Um... I want to say, um, what's the guy? Barry White. I want to say Barry White. Eh, uh, uh, Who knows? It's one of the great many mysteries of gun locks that, yeah. that our, um, our thousands of viewers can just look it up on Google for us and leave it in the comment section below. Yeah, yeah below. Below. Below the words. Are we going to put words on our thing here? I mean... If you want to spend all day putting words on there, you do what you want. I mean, are we like, are we going to create this through? Because I don't have CS5. I don't have any Adobe. I mean, I got Microsoft. You know, Microsoft why would? Paint. Well, what's CS5 good for? Why, why would we I want like that? CS5. CS5 is cool. I mean, you can like. You like know, Adobe Creative Suite. Suite. I don't. I don't. Is that free? That's what CS stands for, right? Creative Suite. I think so. Yeah. Oh boy. I love playing this game when I hear Panel Air Force Chopper arriving shortly because that means I can very easily steal it and get a new helicopter. <laughs> like I'm flying a helicopter right now, and I'll, I'll call this out as I'm doing it to give you an idea of the action of just calls too. Can you hear that? Probably. All right, I'm pulling in front of the helicopter, jumping out of the helicopter, swinging on a chain below my helicopter, firing oh. the chain onto the other helicopter, oh. pulling myself through midair along it, getting out my submachine gun. Killing the passenger of the helicopter. Give me a second. And he's dead. All right. Now, jumping over to the side of the helicopter, punching the pilot in the face while the helicopter <laughs> spins wildly. All right. I think I've got him knocked out. Yep. Getting into the driver's seat of the helicopter and firing the mini guns down and destroying the people on the on the ground. Good God, man. And that's like regular, everyday occurrence of Just Cause 2. Hey. Thank you for listening to episode one of Gun Lock. More to be coming in the future. Oh, you didn't, you didn't pause, man. Uh, and, and, and you're cutting out. Two weeks. Called Lock, Stock, and Barrel. Uh, see you next time.